Well, today, dozens of families got out and took advantage of the pleasant weather. Now that we have turned the calendar to October, many are even gearing up for Halloween. But some challenges this year have threatened a big part of the holiday tradition. THV 11's Frederick Price explains. Now, October is the unofficial start to the spooky season, and hundreds will be flocking to pumpkin patches like this one to keep up with tradition. But it hasn't been easy. Farmers have faced challenges this harvest season, making it tough to grow pumpkins this year. You never know what to expect. It's farming. I don't care what you're growing. It's a roll of the dice. Karen Bradford is a seasoned farmer and knows that all too well. But even with at least 15 years of experience, she says nothing could prepare her for this season's difficulties. First, our issue was it wouldn't quit raining to get in the field to even prepare the soil to plant anything. After some time, Bradford was able to begin planting, but weather conditions continued to hinder the progress. The, the temperatures were just too hot, and so uh, the plant was just stressing out. Another hurdle is dealing with record high inflation. She says the price of fertilizer increased, and among other challenges, Bradford felt a bit fearful about how this season would play out. Diesel fuel twice as much, parts for our tractors and stuff. If you can get what you need right now, are outrageous. Despite the increased cost of operating the farm, she tells THV 11 there was never any consideration to push up the price for visiting families. We want to keep it affordable so that these same families can't can still come. They don't have to tell their kids we can't afford to go to Bowbrook this year. She's planted at least 2000 pumpkins on her farm and had help from a friend to get even more. Regardless of the issues the farm faced, Bradford is grateful she's able to keep things running and people happy. So many people, so many faces repeat um, that support us and we don't ever want to let them down. And Roland, Frederick Price, THV 11 News.